Welcome back to Leeds Student Television. It's moving in weekend 2020, and though it's not like one we've seen before, let's see how everyone's feeling. We're at Charles Morris. Let's speak to Freshers. Your dream flatmate, who would it be? Flatmate, uh, Jim Collins. He's like a professional chef. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Giving him guidance and support on, you know, moving in and whatnot. Quite nervous, honestly, but. When I'm nervous, I talk more and I think that's a good thing. Moving to university can be quite scary for new students at times, but here at LSTV, we've got you all covered with our very own tour of the University of Leeds campus. This is the Parkinson Building, one of the most iconic buildings around campus. Inside is Brotherton Library, where there is plenty of study space and areas to get some work done. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of Leeds University Union. We're going to run through the new restrictions that are designed to keep you safe. But before we do that, you've got to put one of these on. Hello, welcome back to Welcome Week 2020. You're watching Leeds Student Television. Today we're going to be joined by lots of societies to hear a bit about them and how they're going to be running this year. I'm Hannah and I'm your roving presenter. What kind of projects or things have you got in place that are going to help students? But what's great about what we've got going on at the Union is we're still holding all our virtual support sessions with our advisors, but we've also got face-to-face -face ones as well. Thousands of students across the country have started and returned to university during a global pandemic. I've now needed to like speak to people in person more than ever. The number of positive COVID-19 cases amongst the student population has been steadily increasing. What would you say to those people who claim that students have been the ones acting recklessly? You cannot expect young people to come to university for their first year experience and not want to be near each other and socialise. They did move students to campus, kind of almost with the promise that things were normal. SAFO was involved with a protest a couple of days ago after Uni of Manchester put up some fences around the fallow fields halls. Men trapped in this cage, it's immoral, it's, it's inhuman. It's about all the other ways that they have neglected us in terms of our, um, our academics and our welfare. There's a lot of talk of mental health crisis. Particularly January 2018, um, Sam took his own life and that woke me up very much to the reality of the situation that is going on in this country. There was this feeling inside of like, I don't want this to happen again. Everyone at university should know exactly what's available, exactly how it's accessed. The Labour Party has called upon the government to increase funding for mental health, including for students. Do you think that students should be partially reimbursed or have a fee reduction? The whole principle of the fee that I'm opposed to. Do you think it's fair that students should pay full tuition fees when they don't have face-to-face -face learning. I think it depends on your definition of fear. I don't think that we need to advocate for a fee rebate because we feel that the quality is substandard. I'm going to be having a chat with a few of our candidates for this year's Leeds University Union Union Affairs and Communications Officer. The election consequentially for young Americans is huge, especially compounded with the COVID crisis. People on all sides of the political spectrum are anxious. Good morning. It's been a long night for both Joe Biden and Donald Trump. This morning, we'll be dissecting all of the events throughout the night and also revealing more results as they come in. Both sides have said that they think they're going to win. I mean, Trump's come out straight and said that he has won, <laughs> which is just not true at this point. Because of the way our electoral college uh, works, a few states could really just make or break the election at this point. Kamala Harris will also become the first black and Asian American vice president, all of which comes at a significant time where America is increasingly divided over racial injustice. Protests and campaigns that call out racism have sprung up across the world. What we're fighting against injustices that black people face in sort of their day-to-day -day life, police injustices, the way we've been like, undervalued and underappreciated and our community has been underfunded for so long. The University of Leeds has been deemed a systemically racist institution. Lecturers and professors are not culturally competent. They just haven't been taught about it. They don't have to do any training. And it just means that when you are the only 
black or ethnic minority student in a class, the responsibility to educate people falls on you and that's not fair. We're here at an NSARS process in Millennium Square. It falls on us to use our privilege in order to magnify their voices. The block the bill protest. While increasing the power of the police, they've made it so that it's much more difficult to organise protests without legal backlash. Today it's Football Ship Friday and everyone at Leeds Student Television are helping to raise as much awareness as possible for this amazing cause. I'm interviewing the members of Leeds University and Karate Society. For more for Men's Minds, a charity which supports and raises awareness for men's mental health. to be interviewing one of my favourite bands, Back to Yours. I'm joined now by Shaku. One of Yorkshire's finest, the Sherlocks. And I'm here with John and Jared from the main. Rob from Enter Shikari. We're watching lead student television. Student television. Where does your inspiration, I guess, mainly come from? Basically, I had a lot to complain about, I think, so I did it through songwriting. You prefer the atmosphere of a festival, like outside, or do you prefer the inside gigs? There's no, you can't beat playing your own shows, like. We were very fortunate to get our EP release show out into the world before all this happens. I sing a song that I have written in front of a crowd of people and everybody knows the lyrics, but there's no feeling that beats that. Well, you, you have to use one word to like describe the type of music you make. What word would you use? Say like enthusiastic. It's infectious. Being a lot more collaborative with how we write the songs. For the next couple of hours, me and Pudsey are going to be bringing you a load of entertainment. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Pudsey, you excited? We get the privilege of working with loads of amazing children and their families across Leeds. We're here for Children in Need, and we're going to be doing some challenges. So join in along at home if you've got what it takes. We've been set the challenge of the Greg's Ollie Run. Just we filmed in the whole of this. The strikes have driven the students away. We are here in our quarantine kitchen. Tag us in your pictures <laughs> of your own ethernet. We're here at Ilkley Cinema. The cinema is the smallest 4K digital. I can't remember where though. <laughs> but I'm actually shaking. I'm actually shaking. I don't like it. I, this is genuine fear. Cause I got you by my side and there's a sun in the sky. We're actually one of the cutest members of LFTV. That's Trumpet says. Hello and welcome to Gear Nogs. Today we've been set the ultimate challenge to race across Leeds, all the way from Leeds Dock to Kirk to Abbey. She's the winner! It's a real good life. It's LSTV Live Christmas special from home. There's only so many times I can listen to Mariah Carey. Hello and welcome to the seventh episode of the LSTV podcast. And welcome to the 2020 Riley's Awards. The 2020 winners of the Best Society Award are LGBT Society. Welcome to the Riley's 2021. Tonight is such a special evening. I can't wait to know. The Best Media Society goes to Lead Student Television. Up the stakes, shall we? Welcome to Elkley. 